Hi, I'm Alan Jones, executive editor for Boating World Magazine. Well, today I'm in Hartsville, uh, South Carolina with Mark Skeen, who's the vice president of global sales for Stingray Boats. We're aboard the brand new uh, 215LR. And Mark, one thing I really love is just the little things on these boats that make them real great. Like this one little section right here, we have so much going on here. Tell, tell me what we have. Exactly, yeah, Alan. Well, one thing we've done here is we, we've got a bow step to allow you to board the boat from the shore. The other thing we've integrated into this bow step area is a anchor locker. So as you're aware, getting a couple different things into a compartment like this is difficult. It is. Uh, most people don't haven't figured that one out yet, but uh, great job on that. Exactly. What other features do we have up here? The other thing we have up here is we have a, uh, a remote for the stereo, a freshwater shower in this area, as well as some cockpit lighting in the, in the front area here. You move down here to our um, integrated cooler, as well as a couple cup holders on each side. Makes for a nice uh, feature in the boat. Well, I notice we have pop-up cleats all the way around too. That's standard. Standard pop-up cleats on the new uh, on the new model here, and uh, you also notice nice deep seating in the back. It's very deep, very uh, passenger friendly, exactly. and place to grab onto in case the driver gets a little uh, likes to show off that handling That's of the boat. Right. You know, absolutely nice. Well, let's go in the cockpit and see what we have going on there. Okay. Well, Mark, one of the things I noticed when I was taking a walk around the boat is how big this uh, compartment is, the head compartment. Uh, show it to me, would you? Yeah, exactly. What you'll find in this head compartment is that it is large enough that you can get in comfortably and uh, use the head compartment, uh, possibly change in it, um, change a small child in it, so it's uh, fairly roomy. It's nice. I mean, some of these, you have to be highly motivated to be able to you know, get it go in the cave there, but uh, exactly. this even I even I can make it in there, so that's a pretty good job there. Exactly, as well as the pump out head, which is uh, is a neat feature. Uh, tell me what we have going on at the helm here. At the helm, full instrumentation, a four in one gauge, so you have full instrumentation in a small area, uh, digital depth finder, um, circuit breakers on the dash, tilt wheel standard. Um, as well as a remote for your stereo, which is also located in the head compartment for protection. Right. One one feature you don't see in boats a lot is the side vent, too. Yeah, exactly. The side vent allows you to get some extra air into the cockpit on a warm day. Um, so it, uh, it it is a nice feature. Now, are these seats the standard seats in this boat? The seats are standard. You'll notice they all, both have bolsters. Both the passenger and the driver's seat have bolsters. So if um, if you're pulling that skier at a slower speed, you'll be able to get yourself up and look over the uh, windshield. Uh, one thing I like how you did is integrated this uh, centerline locker with the snap-in carpet. It's a really clean look. That's right. It is a clean look, and the carpet will stay down. It won't come up. It's held down by Velcro, and uh, pull that loose, and it allows you to get into the uh, into the ski locker. Nice look. Yes. Well. You know, a lot of things you don't notice on boats is some of the little minor detail. what might be minor, but you've kind of overbuilt a lot of these features under the hood here, haven't you? Exactly. You'll notice a four-inch belge blower, which is about an inch larger than most manufacturers, uh, extra heavy-duty wiring, uh, tin-plated wire for those corrosive environments that you might be in, as well as the uh, two-inch fuel fill, which makes uh, fueling the boat a lot easier. Yeah, for sure. Now, uh, you can get this with a tower for the first time, can't you? Right. The tower option is new for Stingray this year, and um, our tower is uh, a little different from what you'll see other manufacturers. It's a very clean look, very sturdy tower um, that also allows you to uh, use the standard Bimini top, so if a customer wanted to add a tower later, all the backing plates are all built into the boat, so you can add the the, uh, the tower at a later date and still continue to use your standard Bimini top. So it's a great look too. I notice you don't have the knobs and all the other things. It's uh, really it really sturdy as well. Exactly. But uh, let's take a look in the stern and see yeah. what we have going on here. Yep. Love the wide walk through here, so you don't have to step on the upholstery. Uh. Exactly. A great feature it allows you to board the uh, the boat from the rear. Or if you're coming out of the water, you can do that exactly like you say without having to step on the upholstery. We've got a couple uh, cup holders here, as well as a um, cooler area, storage area in the back here that also drains out. Um, a fresh water shower on the stern, as well as a remote trim switch. Well, that, that was amazing to me, like in a, a boat this size. I don't think I've ever seen three fresh water. Uh, we have one here in the cockpit exactly, as well. Also one in the cockpit. Yeah, very unique design there too. But mm -hmm. have three on a, a you know boat this size is pretty pretty amazing, really. Yes, that's right. Um, love the low uh, how this sits kind of low to the water too. Some of them are pretty tall. It is low integrated uh, integrated ladder as well. 
to uh, to be able to board the boat. From the right. Well, thanks, Mark. Appreciate Thank you, you showing me around. Yes, sir. We just finished testing the Stingray 215LR. It's powered by the Volvo Penta 270 horsepower 5.0 GXI. And we, one thing about the Stingray boats, this has got the Z-plane hull, and you tend to get better performance, higher speeds, uh, better cornering on less horsepower. With this boat, we've got really good performance. Uh, time to plane of 3.2 seconds, and we're up to 30 miles an hour in 7.6 seconds with a top speed of 55 miles an hour, which is probably about five miles an hour faster than you'd get with most other boats of this size and weight uh, with that horsepower level. Now the Z-plane hull, what's pretty cool about it is not only is it good for top speed, but it really handles the cor corners really well. For more information on the Stingray 215LR and other great boats, go to BoatingWorld.com. I'm Alan Jones and we'll see you out on the water. Al Fink, the owner of this company, is a speed guy. He has a dragster and is, likes to uh, go to the local strip and uh, whoop up on the youngsters. He's a real hands-on guy and it shows in his boats.